everybody and welcome back to the seesaw another saturday another grocery haul so my name's karen if you're new here um the seesaw is the name of our channel because life is a constant balance we're working parents we both work full-time plus out of the house our son caleb is 11 so he'll be going to secondary school this year he plays actively plays sports for two clubs we're back at football already and we go back to rugby tomorrow um, so life is just a constant balancing act, really, and that's where we came up with the idea for the name of the Seesaw. Um, but we feature mainly grocery hauls and meals of the week, and then I do occasional like recipe videos or um, day in the life videos or out and about videos when we can be out and about or holidays and things like that. Or hauls from other shops or online places if I think you might be interested in them. So it's a little bit of a mix, but mostly based around our grocery shop and then our meals that we prepare from that shop each week. Um, because I, I think for me, the reason I started watching these sorts of videos was because it gives me just some ideas. Even if it's even if I don't follow it exactly, I think, oh, I've got a recipe for that that I haven't used for a while. I'll make that next week. So um, it just gives me some ideas and I hope it does the same for you. And I also think... I know we have a lot of international viewers on the channel. Um, I still, I know, I, we lived in the States for 15 years. My husband, Tony, is American. Um, so he obviously lived there a lot longer than 15 years. But we moved back to the UK when Caleb was about a year and a half old. Um, so I sort of have a good idea of grocery shopping in the US. Um, but I do like to look at what people get in other countries for their money. Um, and... and you know, sort of differences in products. So countries like Australia, New Zealand and the USA and Canada, you would think would be quite similar sorts of products between those countries and here. Um, and yet the same brand can have things in those countries that you just can't get here, that they're just not, they're not a thing here. And they're in some of the Australia and New Zealand stuff, they weren't a thing in America either. So it's quite a strange, um, quite a strange, Thing, I think when like a big company does completely different products in I understand it if it's like Asian products compared to South American products compared to Central European products because they are quite different but when it's countries that eat a lot of very similar things it just surprises me so anyway enough of waffling about that I went to Tesco's today and I went really as a bit of an experiment because our Club Card Plus subscription doesn't renew for another couple of weeks. It's the 19th, I think, it renews. Um, and so I went to just do a regular shop just to see what it cost me. Because I have a real feeling that the price of everything is going up at the moment. And I felt that for a while, but I've been using lots of things like my Club Card Plus to keep the pricing down. Um... And I just really was genuinely interested to see. So I spent £107, which is quite a big shop because this was just a normal weekly shop for us. Um, but I had £23 worth of club card offers. So just the club card pricing on things. So it wasn't anything I got extra for being a Club Card Plus member. It was just the pricing you get if you have a Tesco club card, even one of the free ones. Um, and so I bought quite a few things that had club card pricing on them and that dropped it down £23. So before all of that, it was £131. Now, that is ridiculous for a weekly shop for the three of us. Um, it's about £40 to £50 over where I normally budget. Um, and I haven't really got anything that's extravagant. Um, I have got a few snacks in, but not anything significant. I got some big packs of meat because it was the cheapest way to buy it. But again, not really expensive things. I don't have things like steak this week. I don't have um, a joint of beef or a joint of pork or gammon or anything like that. I don't have salmon, which are the things that often put it up. And I have hardly any fruit because we've still got fruit in the house. So I was really quite surprised at how it was. No, I do scan and shop at Tesco so I could see it ringing up as I went around. But I was still really surprised at how quickly it ratcheted up. So I am convinced that the price of everything has gone up now. That's That's been the kind of the final decision for me, that things have really gotten more expensive. So I don't know if you're finding that where you are or in your stores, but I'm going to do the same next week. I think I'll probably go to Aldi and Sainsbury's and just do a flat basic shop and see what that comes in at to see if the difference is still there in pricing between Aldi and Tesco 
because for a while it didn't seem like there was much difference but I'm sus suspecting that maybe that has balanced back out again so anyway we shall see next week um, but for now I'll turn you around I'll show you what I did pick up and then at the end as always I'll show you our meal plan for the week ahead so there is the sweep of everything I got it only goes just around the corner and these are not included. I get these on Amazon subscribe and save and they're a lifesaver in this house. So tablet wipes and smartphone wipes. Um, one's just a bit bigger than the other. Essentially, I think they're the same thing. But I get a, them restocked every couple of months on subscribe and save. And they are really good for the screens. So if you've got sticky fingers, and that's the adults in this house as well as the, as the child, sticky fingers on screens, those are really good for cleaning it off. So non-food items, all I got was my normal TV magazine, two bottles of hand soap, these were all the Carex were 99p this week, and one of the big jumbo kitchen towels. And that's it for non-food items, so there wasn't even much of that to, to bring the pricing up. Bread, I got a loaf of the both together, and I got four of these um, brioche burger buns. From The Warburton ones were down, they were a club card special pricing, and they, that made them the same price as the Tesco ones. So I just picked them up. I don't think it really makes much difference, but just nice to have them. I'm going to use those a couple of times for lunches this week. And then I'll put the other two in the freezer and use them at a later date. I picked up a pack of four croissants. I'm going to make, tomorrow we're back to rugby. And I'm going to make a stuffed croissant berry bake before we go in the morning. So it's basically croissants. You use some cream cheese, you use some frozen berries and you make a bit of a custardy kind of mixture with milk and eggs pour over it. So it's a bit like a bread pudding, um, a bread and butter pudding, but with croissants and berries and the, the croissants are stuffed with cream cheese and it's really, really tasty. So I'm going to make that. Don't know if Caleb will want any, but it will make me feel better when I have to get up and go to rugby in the morning. Um, a dozen eggs. Um, drinks wise, I got some fruit splash apple and some hydro black currant. Those were both, this is the Tesco one, so they're only 90p. These were a pound. And then Caleb asked for some diet lemonade. Um, he doesn't need diet. His teeth are really healthy and good, and he's obviously not at all anywhere close to being overweight um, or intaking too much sugar. He just doesn't. Um, but he had some diet lemonade from the big bottle I bought last week, and I used some for the gammon. Um, and he actually quite enjoyed it. So I thought, well, if I can get away with giving him the diet, then that's not a bad thing. As I say, he doesn't drink a lot of fizzy drinks. He just now and again fancies one. Um, and in fact, he didn't drink fizzy drinks at all until he was nearly 11. So it was this last year, at some point, he has he'd started to try some fizzy drinks. Um, I think Orange Fanta or something like that he started with. He's still not a fan of Coke. He does occasionally have a little sip of Pepsi, um, but he's not a big fan of it. Um, but he does like lemonade, Sprite, Lilt, that sort of thing. Um, crisps, I just got a bag of the wheat crunchies, as we've still got some other things in the cupboard. He asked for shreddies for cereals this week, and the shreddies were reduced down to £2 on the big box from 3 so I picked up some of those. I wanted prawn crackers and they didn't have any regular prawn crackers in, but these were in the kind of discounted section on the um, world food aisle. And they're sweet chili prawn crackers, which sound quite nice. They are quite small, it's not a big bag, but I just want a few to have with a meal we're having this week. I've got some more of the mini chop chip muffins as he quite likes those either, either as a snack or sometimes in the morning with a smoothie or a drink or something. I got a package of the spaghetti bolognese powder um, sauce mix. Don't usually use anything like this, but for the particular meal I'm making, this is a quick and simple way to get everything I need in the pot. Um, some mini wraps. Caleb quite likes these either to put in his lunchbox or just to have them as a snack. The Nutella Be Ready, one of his favourite snacks, and they were on club car pricing this week. They were £1.50, I think, something like that, and they're normally two something. Um, I also picked up some of these tropical fruit slurpers. So these are like little smoothies, but you don't have to keep them in the fridge. And I just thought for a school snack, something for him to take for his morning break, he doesn't like to take pieces of fruit because, well, he just doesn't. I mean, he will eat fruit, but he wouldn't take a piece of fruit to school. Um, and he gets a bit fed up with cereal bars and things like that. And they're obviously not allowed to take chocolate or anything with nuts in or anything like that. So I thought he might like those. He does like smoothies, um, 
he likes tropical fruit so i'm thinking that might be a good one for him he did ask me he's still got lots of candy left from easter but he did ask me if i could get him something sour so again these had a club car pricing on the warhead sour jelly beans so i've got him some of those fiber one stuff was all on club car pricing this week now i quite like these chocolate popcorn bars but i also thought he might like them again as an alternative to a slightly healthier snack um, or something he could take to school because it doesn't have any nuts in it um the all butter chocolate chip shortbread for the biscuit tin he loves shortbread and he loves chocolate chip cookies so i'm thinking that might um that might be something he like i don't think he's tried those before um last week i bought the aldi chili jam the nando's all of the nando's range is on club car pricing so this was reduced down to one pound fifty so I grabbed the Nando's one as well. So now we've got both and we can try them out. A little pot of garlic granules, some light soy sauce and some sweet chilli dipping sauce. Um, Ridge tea, strangely, is one of Caleb's favourite biscuits. He hasn't had them for a while, but I bought some to use in a recipe. Like I made a biscuit um, refrigerator cake sort of thing and he ate the rest of them and he said he'd forgotten that he really liked them. So... Um, they're about as plain as you can get, but if he likes them, then that's something different again for him for a change. Um, the ginger nuts for Tony and myself, they're our favourite biscuit. We just keep some in the biscuit tin. The little packs of angel slices, these were down to, I think they were a pound for six. I've noticed these are the lower sugar ones, but I don't think that will make a difference. I think they just don't have the thick icing on the top. I think that's the difference actually um i don't think that'll make a difference he likes to take one of those in his lunch box um sweet corn i've got a large and a small the large is for one of our meals and the small is i'm going to have some tuna and sweet corn with jacket potatoes for my lunches this week um a monthly top up of our bottles of ketchup that had club car pricing on it as well a light mayonnaise these were in the you know in our tesco when you first go in um over to one side is all the homewares and clothing and all of that sort of stuff it's a superstore but the aisle that you walk down to get down to the food area always has kind of special deals on it and club car pricing and i spotted these i don't know if he's going to like them or not but i thought they they have more protein in them than just a smoothie or something and i just thought i'd get three they don't have to keep they kept in the refrigerator um i think they were 75p each and it's true strawberry and a chocolate and just see if he likes those because that's something that he could have at breakfast time i think i've said before he doesn't really like to eat much in the morning but then that's quite a long time to go until they have lunch at school so he can take a snack um but again if he hasn't had a proper breakfast um and he's not going to sit and eat big bowls of cereal and stuff in the morning's first thing he eats cereal later in the day so um yeah, I'm, I'm just trying a few different things. If you've got any ideas of what to give kids on the go for breakfast, he doesn't like to get up early, so he doesn't have a lot of time in the mornings. Um, and he is not a fan of things like porridge and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I'm just trying to think of some different things to try with him. Um, I got a Campbell's condensed tomato soup and I got a can of French onion soup. I got two of the Muller Light yogurts for me. One, the rhubarb and crumble, rhubarb crumble and custard, just for an eating yogurt. And then I got a vanilla with chocolate sprinkles that I'll use to make an overnight oats one night this week. Again, along the same theme, peach and apricot yogurt drink. So he likes peach and apricot yogurt. That's his favourite from the tubes and things. And so I'm thinking he will definitely like these. Um, and again, it's a good source of calcium. Um, it gives him a bit of a boost. He could have that in the morning with like a pan of chocolate or a muffin or some fruit or something. Um, three of the strawberry shortcake corner yogurts, which are his favourite yogurt to take with his lunch. Some of the garlic ciabatta slices. Um, some Greek style yogurt, some sour cream, uh, low fat, what we call squirty cream in this house, um, some semi skimmed milk and some smooth orange juice. Didn't get smoothies because we do still have a full bottle of smoothies. He hasn't had much smoothies this week while we've been at home. Um, strawberry Cornettos, the Cornettos were down to £1.50 for six. Um, all of the flavours of regular Cornettos this week. Um, some perfectly imperfect mixed berries. I got two packages of the mature cheddar and one of mozzarella. I got three packs of cream cheese. I need one to make those croissants tomorrow. And then I'm and the other two, I forget what 
I need them for. It's for something later in the week. Um, Pepper Army was on the, the full size Pepper Armies were on club card pricing. So those are always a lunchbox favorite for Caleb. Um, some mini cocktail sausages. The Dairy Lee Dunkers were all had a good price. I can't remember what it was, but they were club card pricing as well. Um, so I got him some of the big jumbo tubes with the dip. Um, deli meats, I got some roast beef and some um, prime cuts cooked ham. I got a little quiche Lorraine, again something different to perhaps cut up and put into lunchbox. He does like quiche. Um, Greek style salad cheese, essentially feta style cheese. I got Huda slices for a change um, from cheddar slices. I got some mini vegetable spring rolls to go with a meal this week. I got a pack of the jacket potatoes for me for lunches. Some farmhouse mixed vegetables and some garden peas. On to meats, I've got a large whole chicken. I've got some of these which I hadn't seen before. The pork red Leicester cheese and jalapeno hot dogs. Now I'm not going to use them as sausage hot dogs. I'm going to use them for a pasta dish that I'm making. Now they are um, they are prime British pork, but the sausage meat in in a hot dog style sausage, it's slightly different. It's not chunks of sausage meat like you have in a normal sausage. It has been pureed down a bit further, but I can still use that for what I need for um, my pasta dish this week. And I just thought that flavour profile sounded quite nice. Um, package of turkey mince, this huge package of chicken thighs. I went to grab a normal size package which has five or six in and they're like two pounds something and I noticed these are three pounds sixty for a pack and there are what three four five six seven eight nine ten I think there's twelve thighs in there so that is definitely it's definitely more than one meal for us but it's probably one and a half meals but I think I've got a pack from last time I bought a big pack of chicken thighs I think I've got four or five in the freezer still, so to put that and the rest of this together will mean I've got three meals out of two of the big packs. Um, some thick sliced bacon, some chicken legs, and a big pack of the pork loin steaks, which looked really nice this week. And they're only like three pounds something, I think, for a big pack like that. Um, a bag of white potatoes, a bag of baby potatoes, some red onions and brown onions, Sweet gem lettuce, which is really good lettuce at the moment. This is Licky's favourite. Um, he has this with his breakfast and his dinner. He has some lettuce. And this is the one he gobbles up and eats the best out of anything that we give him. Um, then I've got some chives, which are for cooking. I've got basil and dill for Licky. The mint and the parsley in the garden are fully back in. Bloom, bloom is not the right word, is it? Because they don't flower. But you know what I mean. They've burst back into life. Um, so I shouldn't need to buy too much of that for the foreseeable future. Some Savoy cabbage, which Caleb is really loving cabbage at the moment, so I am not going to discourage that at all. Closed cut mushrooms, baby plum tomatoes, a Caesar salad kit, which we've had a couple of these lately, and really do like that. Again, you pay a bit more for buying a Caesar salad kit than buying romaine lettuce and some Parmesan cheese and a bit of dressing, but for quickness and if I've got to do all of that I won't make a Caesar salad if I've just got to shake this up I will but something like that a few things like that in the shop shouldn't make the big difference on the pricing so um, one of those I've also got some iceberg lettuce there which I just use a handful of if I'm putting some in a sandwich or um, a bit of salad on the side or something if I'm taking it for lunch um, some celery I wanted frozen broccoli because we eat more broccoli than anything in this house um, but they had no frozen broccoli at all, so I bought a fresh one to use with dinner tonight, and then I'll try to find some frozen later in the week. Um, two packages of spring, two bunches of spring onions, some cucumber, some blueberries, which are partly for licky, partly for breakfast. Um, a, an avocado. I got the least ripe one I could find because I actually don't want to use it until that like Wednesday or Thursday, so I got the least ripe one there. And then I got five cooking apples because I just really fancied an apple crumble. So I'm going to make apple crumble with our meal tomorrow, our Sunday meal. Um, and that's all the fruit I needed. I've still got some oranges in. I've still got some pink lady apples or the pink kids apples. Um, and I've still got some frozen fruits as well. So between all of that, that's plenty of fruit for the week. 
So looking at our meal plan, tonight we're going to have Irish chicken and broccoli. So Irish chicken, we'll use the chicken thighs. I'll cook up some bacon in the pan and then um, crisp the skin on the chicken, on the chicken thighs. So just put them in the pan for a little bit. And then put, take those out, put in some chopped cabbage, some sliced potatoes, some chopped onion, some seasonings. Let that kind of just cook for a few minutes. Put the chicken back on top, sprinkle the bacon in. Um, put a little bit of stock in and then let the whole thing cook in the oven for about 45 minutes. Um, it's really tasty. It's called Irish chicken because it's bacon, potatoes, cabbage and chicken. So it's got traditional Irish ingredients um, and we'll have that with the broccoli. Um, tomorrow we're going to have a roast chicken dinner and we'll have the crumble, which Tony thought that said gumble. That's my writing. The, R, <laughs> the C and the R are kind of joined up there. Um, but we'll have the crumble for pudding. Monday I'm going to make wagon wheel pasta with garlic bread so that's just a really simple pasta meal that uses the can of tomato condensed soup it uses the um, package of spaghetti bolognese seasoning and then some shapes of pasta I think I've got some wagon wheels in the cupboard if not I'll just use other sorts of pasta and we'll have that with some of the garlic bread Tuesday I'm going to make the chicken legs bake those in the oven and have those with Italian roast potatoes and vegetables so that's the little Roast potatoes using the baby potatoes, which I'll do in the active fryer, and I'll put a seasoning of Italian style herbs and Parmesan with it. Um, Wednesday, baked stuffed cannelloni with garlic bread. That's what I'm going to use the sausage for, and it will be absolutely fine for what I need it for. Um, Thursday, we'll have baked pork chops with mash and veg. So I'm going to do kind of loaded pork chops. So I'm going to put um, some spring onions, some cheese, some bacon. Um, on top a bit like a loaded baked potato um, and use um, use some sour cream with that as well anyway I'll explain that when I come to the meals of the week and I'm going to have that with mash and veg and then Friday night we'll have pork fried rice with spring rolls and prawn crackers um, I've got some minced pork pork mince in the freezer that I want to use so that's a good way to use it to make up a fried rice sort of mixture um, and then the little frozen spring rolls we'll have with that and those sweet chilli prawn crackers. So that is the plan for the week. Thank you for joining us for this grocery haul and we look forward to seeing you back here on Seesaw soon.